Okay then, today we've got a set of Vectra clocks and we want to change the SMDs. This is a uh, old board that I've been playing about with. So I bought myself one of these hot air guns um, on eBay, 26 quid. Wasn't worth messing about after I bought this. So there we go. Oh, let's see if we can turn the temperature on without it all moving. Am I still on the screen? Yes. Right. On this hot air gun, I set the temperature to 318, and uh, so let's have a go, shall we? Let's slightly warm up the board. Yeah, so I've got the temperature at 380, and uh, the air temperature at five and a half. Don't know if the tension is right, but uh, good enough for me. So there we have it. Take it off. Now there should be enough uh, solder left on there, so we uh, get the new one. Remove the heat, and there we go. Okay, so that's that bit. Now let's see if it's working. So. We have the multimeter, and I set it to that uh, little symbol there. And the reason I do that is because when I put the meter on, if it's the right way around, here we go. Look, it powers up the LED. Don't need no batteries. If it's the wrong way around, it won't work. So what you're better off doing is testing for your polarity, live and negative, right. Now on the negative side, you can't really see it on there, there's a little cutout on this corner. And that's the negative side. But if you're not sure, just pop your new one on the bench, with your meter, give it a test. Yeah, that's the right way around. On the board, that's the right way around. Yep, yeah, lovely, lovely. Okay then, now we've changed the SMDs on the clocks themselves. But then we come to the mileage. Right, so we take this apart like so. Right, now I've already stripped this down, as I said earlier. This is the old board I play about with. But uh, if we look, this is where there was. You can see four pins. That's plus, negative, negative, negative. Now what we do is the SMDs that we used before. Remember, in the cutouts and negative side, so we take one of those and place it across these two pins here, live, negative. Forget about these, do you know what I mean? If you're a bit uh, concerned, get yourself some solder wick, clean them off like I did there, leave the rest of the solder that's behind, because that way you don't have to try and re-solder them. Get your SMD, hot air gun. Hold it in place, remove the hot air gun, it's soldered down, test it with the meter, and there we go, jobs are good in. Okay, now to find out which way round the SMDs go. Well, obviously you have a live and a negative side, so if you can set your multimeter to the same as I have here, then, when we get the two prongs, this is going to be interesting because I've only got two hands. Okay. Right. Stay there. If we get the meter the right way around, the LEDs will light up. So we know that's live and that's negative. So we do the same, like I'm not going to do it because I haven't got enough hands. On that way, that way you know which way around to solder them on.